I feel like this is all gonna look less glamorous and aesthetically pleasing than people generally like to make videos like this look. You know, I could have gone out and bought like a special jar just for this and some special paper and special pens, but I'm just gonna use what I've got. So I've got a Sharpie, I've got some old gift bags, and I do actually have some colored paper from various craft projects over the years. Recycle, repurpose, reuse, guys. Don't buy new just because it would look better for the video. The gift bags are actually quite cute as well. Anyway, not the point. Da -da -da -da. Hi guys, it's Emma, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then welcome to The Chaos. I do all things music related on here, from audio engineering style content, to production songwriting challenges, to just talking about music and musician life. And today's video is a talky video. It's sort of setting up future songwriting challenge -y videos. I did a tips video a little while back about beat and writer's block, and one of the things I suggested that people do in that video to help keep the creative juices flowing was to create a little list of prompts of some kind to put in a jar that you can pull from when you want to sit down and do a writing session but you can't think what you want to write. Pick a prompt and force yourself to write something that fits with that prompt. It's also just generally a good exercise to do is to not let yourself only write when you feel the inspiration, you know, the moment when something just comes to you, a great epiphany of an idea. Because the truth is, we don't have great epiphanies of ideas very regularly. And most big epiphanies of ideas come whilst working on other ideas. The more you can like get your brain just working on something, the more likely you are to end up having other ideas. You might end up coming up with something completely different whilst you're working on it, but just getting yourself working in the first place is really helpful. So forcing yourself to work to random prompts is really helpful. I suppose a less helpful thing is making this uh, prompts list entirely on your own. I was gonna actually ask for prompts off other people for this video, but um, I've had bad experiences recently of asking people to give me prompts for things and then like only one or two people will give me <laughs> actual prompts. It's a bit hit and miss whether those videos find people that are willing to do more than just like the video. So I didn't want to rely on that for my content. But I do also like doing that because other people give you prompts that you would never think of yourself. But I wanted to have a batch for myself because I want to make sure that once I've finished working on the projects I'm currently working on that are taking up a huge amount of my time, I want to get back to doing more songwriting prompt styly content. So I'm taking my own advice and I'm making a batch of prompts to pull from, mostly just because it's going to help me with content for this channel in the future, but also because it's going to help me just for when I just want to sit down and do some songwriting and, and work on something different, something new. That's what today's video is, is I'm going to make two little bags of prompts and we're going to put our prompts in these two little gift bags because I am a recycling kind of person. So I've just grabbed some nice little gift bags. I wanted something that wasn't like see-through so I can put my hand in it and not look and not see the colors because I'm going to do my prompts on colored paper just to make them look nice. So that when I pull it out in the video, it's a bit cuter, you know? <laughs> so I wanted some bags that I wouldn't be able to see into without like looking, but I won't do that. I promise I won't do that when I pull from these bags. I promise guys. Oh, which one should be which? Because I'm gonna do two different batches of prompts. One is gonna be specific music, lyrical content type related challenges. Write a song with a particular rhyming pattern, write a song in a particular time signature, write a song that modulates into a different key, things like that. Actual specific music related and lyric related challenges that I can pull from to make sure that I am improving my songwriting production skills. But also those are gonna be better for videos overall, I think. But I also wanna make a batch of just ones to pull from in terms of inspiration. So ones that are vaguer, scenarios I'd like to write a song for, or literally just words that then I have to come up with something from. Because if you've actually visited my channel before, you might have seen that in the past I have done a specific songwriting challenge where I use the Inktober prompt. If you don't know what Inktober is, it's like a, it's an art challenge where basically a list of words get released. And for every day in October, you draw a picture to one of those words. And I did it with songs. And that's a really fun challenge because when you just literally get a word you can go pretty much anywhere with that so I want some like just ones for just inspiration type things and ones that are like specific music and lyric writing challenges I think I've just accidentally assigned the bags to the I think this one this one just feels more magical and mystical and inspirational to me I don't know why whereas this one feels um funkier it's all the colors Let's get on with actually making challenges. We're gonna start with our uh, our more music related ones because I know a few already that I'm definitely gonna go with for this. So I'm gonna use some bits of paper here that are already a bit cut up as well. Cause I don't want all ones of like a similar theme. 
same, all on the same color of paper. So I can't tell what the prompt is gonna be just from pulling it out. Right, okay. We're gonna start with some time signatures. I have always wanted to write a song in five, four. Five, four, time. Da, 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 da. Tear that off. And then we wanna fold it up nice and small so that all of the writing is fully covered. In the bag you go. Okay, a different colored piece of paper, please. I've also always wanted to write something in three, four. I've written a song in six, eight before, but I've never written a song in three, four. And I know people will be like, they're basically the same thing, but they're actually really not. And I would say that everything I've written in the past hasn't actually been in three, four. It's all been in six, eight, because rhythmically six, eight feels very different to three, four. And I think that writing a pop song in particular, a modern pop song, you can easily write like a ballad type pop song in six, eight. And there are a lot of ballad like pop songs out there in six, eight, because three, four is very waltz, you know? It feels very um pop but um, pa, pa, very quickly. So I think it would be a really good challenge to try and write a pop song that's in three, four, that doesn't end up all um, pa, pa, um, pa, pa. Which is gonna be hard because that is just like what, what the rhythmic pattern of three, four ends up being a lot. Other musical ones. Let's do a rhyme scheme one next actually, because that's also kind of rhythm related with an A, 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 B. Then you do A, A, oh no, not A. You do C, C, <laughs> that says E now. Then you do C, 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 B. Tearing these is the most challenging bit of this video. I need enough so they aren't just like one of each color because then I'll definitely know what they are. Shall we do another rhyme scheme one? What other rhyme schemes are cool and a challenge that I haven't really done? Oh, I know a fun one where you go A, then B, C, B, C, A. That one's quite a fun one. I have never written a guitar solo. I have had other people improvise around a basic idea I had for where a guitar solo might go, but they've written the solo. So at some point I would like to write a song that is written around a guitar solo that I will write myself because I've gotten quite a bit better at guitar. Use seven chords to modulate to another key. In you go. Okay, what else? I know, I wanna write a song that has a round in it, but not on a vocal. I feel like that could make a really pretty build up in a song. In you go. Syncopation. I'm literally just gonna put syncopation. Doesn't matter where the syncopation goes, just find some place for some syncopation in your song. Write a song with no refrain. I don't do this often, so I'm gonna put this down. Write a song with only three chords. I know that's actually like what a lot of modern pop music would be, a song with either only three chords or four chords. Would it be ridiculous to try and write a song with every chord in the key? Because that's not actually something you get a whole lot, is a song that uses a chord progression that makes use of every single chord in that key. That's a challenge I like. I want something a bit more production based. Use no drums, only other percussion. I'm gonna put percussion in, in speech marks and I'll know what that means as in percussion that isn't a drum. Make your own synth sound. I don't make synth sounds from scratch very much. I tend to find a preset and then edit it, but it'd be nice to literally start completely from scratch using only percussion. There are lots of um, great songs out there that are just percussion and vocals. Make a guitar sound nothing like a guitar. If anyone has suggestions to add to this, feel free to leave them in the comments. This is nowhere near full enough. I need more. Oh, I like this idea. This is not production related. Okay, write a song in a major key and then put it into a minor key. I feel like you can get an interesting result there. And you'll have to bear that in mind as you're like putting together your melodies and stuff. It's how will they sound when you then shift it to minor. Start with a riff. I don't start with a guitar riff very much. So that is actually a good challenge for me. If you make one yourself, I'd encourage you to put in things that like you don't normally start with. Don't just put in a bunch of challenges related to how you normally start in music. Like actually specifically pick challenges that are aimed at stuff you're not good at. I'm not good at writing guitar riffs, so. Okay, I'm gonna put this one to one side and I'm gonna do some fun inspirational ones. We want scenarios and words for this one. Stuff that will just inspire things. I'm looking at a computer, so I'm gonna put computer in there. I'm gonna put a song to sing in the rain. What would you say? Would you say that a song to sing in the rain is a sad song or actually quite a happy song? Boop, in you go. Battle. 
Oh, that gives me an idea for my song challenge one. Let's do something. Call and response. Gotta love a bit of call and response. Just thinking of things I like, but I would write songs about them anyway. Trying to find inspiration from around the room, but that isn't very helpful, is it? Uh... Oh, let's think of some mundane things. Mundane things. I do, I do like writing about mundane things. I'm putting mundane in there. <laughs> Just because I've said it enough times, I feel like it has to go in now. I can see a cardboard box, so I'm going to put cardboard in there. I have no idea what sort of song would come out of that kind of prompt. Right, yellow. I can't resist just writing yellow on it. I'm looking at a water bottle. I'm putting it on the list. Oh, I like the idea of routine. A song to dance to. I don't write a whole lot of songs that are more for dancing. Oh, I might just like write down some like shows and movies. Like write a song for this. I'm gonna put Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Write a song that would be in an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Because there is a very specific type of ballad that they like to use. Ah, write a song for a car advert. Late as well. 80s movie. That's a whole genre of song altogether, isn't it? Elegant. I'm tempted to write elephant now because of that. I mean, it would be random. What would you write about an elephant? It's going on the list. Okay, I took a toilet break and while I was there, obviously, I saw my toothbrush. So I'm putting toothbrush down. I want to do some where it's like a storytelling type concept. You know, like when they, the, you ask a certain question, like who, what, where, why? I'm trying to come up with a story. So we're going to go with something like, you're looking at a photograph. Look at this photograph. Standing on a hill. What are you looking at? You smashed a plate. Searching through a drawer. You're in the shower. Is it a sexy kind of shower or a crying in the shower kind of shower? I just really like the word fascination, so I'm putting that down. I need some more like TV show and movie type ones, don't I? Because I've got greys in there and it's a bit biased just having the one. Oh, write a song for an action movie montage, specifically the training montage. An intro for an American mystery horror. You know how they quite often have that sort of, that very bluesy style that makes you think a sort of American Gothic kind of vibe. Flower, but not the, uh, as in a plant kind of flower. Baking kind of flower. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there because I could go crazy doing this all afternoon. And um, we still have not really that many prompts in each of them. There's quite a few in there, but this can definitely be added to. So I'm gonna try and keep adding to this over the next few days. Every time I come up with something, write it down on one of these little pieces of paper, screw it up into a ball like that, throw it in. The beauty of having both of these is that I can also, if I really want a challenge, I can pick like a theme type one from this one. So we could pick our theme is a song for an action movie training montage and then pick something out of here. We've got a blue one and that song would need a rhyming pattern that goes A-A-B, A-A-A-B, C-C-C-B. But this one is gonna be more for when I'm just looking to pick something for some inspiration and just see where my brain goes. And this is gonna be more for when I'm really trying to challenge myself to do something cool musically. And I think that making some of these would be a good idea generally if you're trying to improve your songwriting, especially if you're trying to improve certain specific skills. So like if you are, if you think you're quite weak with your lyrics, then write yourself a bunch of prompts specifically about challenging yourself around lyrics. So write yourself some weird things to write songs about and then write about them. But if other people have ideas for prompts for either of my little bags, please do leave them in the comments and I will add them in. I hope this has inspired you to make your own little prompt bags and feel free to steal any of the ones I put in mine. If you enjoyed this video, then you might enjoy my content in general. So you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button, but I know that is a big decision to make. So do feel free to check out some of the other videos on this channel before you decide one way or the other. There'll be something recommended on the end screen. If you want to follow me on all my socials, they will be linked in the description below. And there is also a link to my Buy Me A Coffee where you can join my membership if you want to see things like outtakes videos and other behind the scenes stuff. Or you can just send me a one-off little donation if you just want to say cool video. That's all for today though. So I shall see you guys next week with another fun music related video of some sort. Bye!